new wife, Mrs. Evans. I asked Sophie what I should say about her and she said, thank you for filling my life with love, laugh and entertainment. But it's been so much more than that. I'll always remember you passing your driving test after far, far, far too many times. And then becoming the designated driver for one of our many first dates. Who would have thought after all these years that Lola would still be with us? She's seen many a happy memory, from us buying our first house at Hemingway Close, to getting home in our underwear after our first night as fiancés, <laughs> after a very, very, very wet night at Scarborough Nair Theatre. <laughs> <laughs> and who could forget Luna? We, we picked her up in, in Little Lola and she came and joined and made our family a three. We've achieved so much together and I cannot wait to see what the future holds that now you are my wife. It's customary for the father of the bride to kick off the speeches, although I've never actually received a formal invitation to the wedding. Let's hope I'm not going to eat someone else's dinner by mistake. So I'd just like to say a few words about Sophie and Reese. Nothing embarrassing. Uh, what, at all. Nothing. Nothing, no, there's plenty of time for that. We'll probably go around and talk to everybody and tell them all the stupid thing. Bridesmaids. You know everything. Right. I'd just like to say how proud Mum and I are of you and how beautiful. <laughs> and how beautiful young woman you have grown into and what you have achieved. I'm sure there will be much more to come. So I would like to say how proud I am to give you away today and how beautiful you will look in your dress. Do you, Liz, take Sophie here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. <laughs> Very definite. Okay, do it, yeah. Do you, Sophie, take Reese here present to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Reese, you're going to you're going to make your vows. I, Reese Alexander Evans, take you, Sophie Louise Bryan, to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. <laughs> I promise to live with you in love and harmony. I promise to live with you in love and harmony. To cherish and care for you. To cherish and to care for you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. Now, Sophie, it's your turn to do vows and promises to you. I, Sophie Louise Bryan. I, Sophie Louise Bryan. Take you, Rhys Alexander Evans. Take you, Rhys Alexander Evans. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Thank you very much. Please take her left hand. Place the ring loosely on the end of her finger. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made for you. And then place the ring on your finger firmly. Good show. It's you know? a bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> you might need Did we got any Vaseline? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bit sweaty. <laughs> we're on. on. We're on. We're on. We're all right. Good luck for Sophie for getting this one on. <laughs> Size of it. I'd like to give Sophie Reese's wedding. <laughs> Take his left hand. Just hold the ring loosely on the end of his finger. 
I give you this ring as a symbol of my endless love for you. As a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. May this ring remind us of this moment. May this ring remind us of this moment and the commitment I have made to you. And then place the ring on this finger for you, but don't break this finger. Jesus. Uh, that's it. Right. And that's it. Don't do that. Your duties are over. Well done, Clarkson. It is therefore my privilege and my pleasure to pronounce that you are now lawfully married. You are husband and wife. Congratulations. And Reese, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> to welcome our new son-in-law, Reese, to the family. Jane and I have always treated Reese as one of the family from the first meeting. It was obvious that you adored Sophie, and so over the years, our instincts have proven to be correct, and we look onto you as a son, not as a son-in-law. So health and support is ever needed. We are always here for you, as we are for Sophie. Everyone can see how much you love Sophie. You are kind, sensitive, and also have a great sense of humor. And meeting Sophie has made your life complete and hope you enjoy your role as a carer. I know Sophie will mould you into the perfect husband. <laughs> you being a modern man and like inequality, like I do. So remember, doing some housework won't kill you. But why take the chance? <laughs> Don't touch her. It's been long awaited, but we're all finally here, yeah, to celebrate together. Yeah. Uh, now, it's been so long, in fact, that we've all moved up a suit size, okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> Reese is wearing my trousers, uh, I'm wearing Paul's, and we've had a new pair custom made for you, aren't we, Paul? Yeah. If anybody sees Reese's hand suspiciously wriggling about in his pocket, right, I need, you to, I need you to let me know, because we could be reaching the point of no return. <laughs> Yeah, because Reese's hand, it gets pissed before he does. Yeah. And, he, and he knows this, and he tries to hide it from us, okay? Um, now, at my wedding, Reese got so giddy that both of his hands were pissed before he was. And he came out of the, the toilet bashing his wrists together. And he had his trousers round his knees. And he up. He could never mind his belt. Yeah, he was a bit of a state. Can everybody please raise a glass? To my mate and his beautiful wife, very brave wife. Now yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been an adventure so far, and I wish you many, many happy years together. Yeah. So to the new Mr. and Mrs. Evans, everybody.